sudah keluar line up nya mereka lima pemain yang main pertama pemain yang yang main starting five nah, udah
about to be made here at the Mamba Stadium in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This is the first broadcast and the first game of the Field Basket International Championship. And we are very happy to have you with us. From across the globe, we have 10 teams in competition. My name is Noel Zarate from the Philippines, along with Jen Reyes. And Jen, let's first talk about this initial step of Phil Basket taking the sport of basketball to the Malaysian region. Um, this is a really good um, sign and a really good development for the other countries that are, um, you know, aren't really um, big in basketball. So um, let's see how these two teams can what can what they can do here in this game. Well, I don't know if our coach has a point that will be ready now for the first report because we've already started our broadcast right now. But I, I'm uh, pretty certain that we're going to be hearing from her in just a bit. So our first game, our very, very first game in the Field Basket International Championship will be featuring the Elang Pacific Caesar out of Indonesia taking on the Pegasus Brunei squad. Now, it's very interesting because these are two countries, Jen, that are developing in their basketball program. Yes, I agree. On this um, Elang Pacific side, um, these, this team is mainly made up of um, Indonesian players. They have one import in um, Capri, Dean Alston, who is American. And as we can see here, they have a very young squad. So that's a really good sign for the development of Indonesian basketball. Plus, they're not as tall as the other teams in this tournament. So I really expect them to maybe push the ball and pick up the pace. But let's see what happens here in their very first game. This squad from Pegasus Brunei, you did mention that Indonesia's program is up and coming. We do have an international flair for this uh, group from uh, Pegasus Brunei. Yes, um, uh, this, uh, on the other side, we have the Pegasus Brunei team. So for all the Filipino <laughs> viewers out there, Noel, yeah. when they hear the word Pegasus, yeah. other things come to mind. A lot of memories but, in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but kidding aside, this team is uh, oh, being run by now? Pegasus Sports Basketball Agency. So they are the, they're a semi-pro semi team playing in the TBSL and the MDL. Uh, this team is probably the, uh, the team that have recruited the most players from different countries. Uh, they have the likes of John Luke Morel, mm -hmm. who played in the NBL, and William Chan, who is um, the Nipsing, Nipissing Men's Basketball Rookie of the Year wow. in 2018 and 2019. So I really expect these two players to anchor their team. But I've talked to coach Jade Padrigao, and he's from the Philippines. Wow, yeah. Um, yeah, actually, yes. Um, Welcome again to the Sports Clip Field Basket International Championship. In so today for the first game, we will be witnessing the... Aries Henan is really expecting the team to get experience, especially that they will be competing in IBL in 2023. So I'm very excited and I've talked to the coaches a while ago and to the assistant coach as well. And they're all just looking forward for the team to get more international exposure since they want to compete in more tournaments in the future. I'm so excited and let's get back to you.
center, of course, we do have a bunch of international referees here as well, uh, from uh, the MAPA, and they are all FIBA accredited. Uh, we caught the crew for KLSM. Uh, we were doing uh, the League crew chief, of course, uh, by the name of Ti Yong uh, Shem. So Malaysian force here. We do expect a bigger crowd a little later on. We do have four games to share with you today. Yes. And history is, a, is officially being made right now with the first offense going to the side of uh, Elan. And they do get a three-pointer immediately. And that is coming from Mohamed Arieski. That's a very uh, quick three right there. And... Um well, that is something, of course, that, oh, he can't save it. Also, can't save it. That is something, of course, your, sm your smaller team you must be able to uh, hit the outside shot. Yes, I agree with you and really box out and help each other down rebound uh, to crash those boards. Well, that was uh, out of bounds against Alston, so possession still stays here with Pegasus Brunei. That's going to be a step back. That's going to be a miss coming in from uh, Rum Samyap, and Alston has it right now. So you do see what you're talking about right here. You expect them to try to run the ball as much, but uh, again, forced into the half-court game. Yes, um, let's see how they have their offense set up here. And um, seems like they have a lot of shooters. They keep shooting from the outside. Well, apparently they do accept that they are one of the smaller teams here in the league. Another three, so they are oh, or they're one for three from beyond the arc to start this game and uh, again long shots produce long rebounds yes. Jen and that's what's keeping the ball on the side of the white shirts for the uh. side of um, Pegasus Elang they really have to um, box out and find a man to be able to get that rebound so Jen Yang Chong is going to be called for his first foul 14 to shoot now here for for Elang, and now you're seeing the post-up play here coming from Austin. He's going to use the left oh, hand. Good defense now by Morel. It's a sorry miss for um, Austin. Pegasus right now on offense. They will go to Wutipong Dasom in the post, and Dasom had everything but the basket. Fast break going the other way now for the Indonesians. Almost taken away, and they will recover. Time down to eight minutes and twenty remaining here in the first, and that is going to be a goal ten. Goaltender, it hit, it already hit the backboard. Then the um, oh, Dio Putra now with uh, his first two points of the game. So five zip in favor of Elang Pacific Caesar, coming out of Indonesia. Here's Jen with possession right now. Left-handed shot, still no basket here for Pegasus Brunei. Yes, and um, I think they should, they have to start going to their. Um, International import in John Luke Morel. Oh, how about Alston? You the left hand, so we have another lefty here. So it is now seven zip in favor of Elang Pacific Caesar. Wutipong the Som, the Thai the reinforcement finally gets a basket for Brunei. So I've talked to uh, Coach Jade Badrigao and he said uh, he's really backing on this uh, player number 11, the Som. Oh, spin by Austin gets away, and you know he's so crafty. He's not that big. He looks to be about six foot three, but what? he does not use his body. Yeah, what a great move right there, and he reminds me of a uh, uh, mini Zebo. <laughs> the Psalm once again. He's owned all the points for Pegasus Brunei at this point. Nine five is our score as we approach seven minutes remaining. And here the Psalm starting to heat up right here. Two straight baskets for him. They're playing zone right now. Pegasus Brunei is. Alston trying to break the zone with posting up. He's already triple teamed and he still puts it up and in. I don't know how John Luke Morel is going to be able to handle this guy. They already played the zone and he just posts up like nobody's there. And a hang time move. Wutipong Dasom has got all seven points from Pe for Pegasus Brunei. Probably one more. So Coach Jade is really... Oh, yeah, that was a good shot of the replay there for Wutipong Dasom. Again, eight years, nine years in the Thai national team. Alongside guys like Darompan Apirom Vilay Chai, uh, Kanawat Lertlaw Kul, some of the legends from the time that he was 
on the national team, but he cannot complete the three-point play. Four-point lead, however, for the guys in white. Elang Pacific on offense right now. Jumper on its way. That is a miss coming from Claude Wibowo. You can and see both teams here trying to take the earliest mm -hmm. possible shot. And that's and actually uh, a good foul given up there, foul. Jen. Yeah, by uh, Ariezki, who had the first three-pointer of the game. That's his first personal foul. And the guy with possession earlier was uh, William Chan, the Vietnamese-Canadian that we were talking about earlier. And his name is spelled T-R-A-N, Tran, but it's actually really pronounced Chan. Chan yeah, yeah, yes, I agree. And um, I believe... Um, he grew up in Canada yeah. and um, uh, yeah he grew up in Canada and uh, he did study in Canada as well so let's see what kind of hops or what, what he brings to this team coached by Jade Padrigao and for all the Filipino fans of course he is the uncle of Fortsky Padrigao who's uh, making waves right now uh, in the collegiate scene Alston getting the rebound here great block out there by Dean Alston Almost taken away. Here is Arieski. Trying to create space. Arieski on the drive. Oh, tries a difficult reverse layup. Doesn't work. Chan on the rebound. Ahead to Wutipong Dasom. And a foul given up by uh, the captain of the floor, Jonathan K. So two free throws once again coming up for Dasom. This guy, Dasom, is uh, really long and um, lanky, but... Uh He's, he keeps going hard to the basket. Right, you know, there was a time in the Thai national team, he was actually playing center for them when they were still developing. Of course, they do have uh, guys like uh, Tirawat Lert Lao Kol, or make that Tirawat uh, Chantachon, rather, who is now their legit center on the national team. But during the time of Wutipon Dasong, you can see that it was a run and gun game for Thailand. Morel's going to take a seat. He has been ineffective so far. And we're going to have our first look now at Jeng Kang Leong. This team from Pegasus Brunei actually has more than half of their lineup from Malaysia. Yes, I agree with you, Noel. And um, uh, the Somme taking two free throws here yeah. and makes the first one. That's nice, so, of course, for, for Pegasus Brunei, Jen. That's why I brought it up is that because we are playing here in Malaysia, they do, do have a lot of local talent. Uh, transfer of technology from one country to another is going to be a little faster now. Yes, I agree, really agree with you on that one. So two free throws dropped here for Dasom, who's got all the, the points here so far for Pegasus Brunei. 11 to 9 now. That lead is down to two. Under six minutes to play in the first. Alston just bullying his way inside, but this time good defense play. How about Dasom getting the rebound while lying down, and he's going to force Alston to commit a backcourt foul. What a great uh, patience there by Dasom to just, you know, and hustle. To just get that rebound, even if he, he was on the floor already. So now with the 5 and 37 remaining here in the first quarter. It's been a low scoring affair so far. They are checking for some slick spots on the floor. The Smaba Stadium has been the center of basketball in Malaysia. You have to remember that when Malaysia hosted the Southeast Asian Games in 2017, this was the basketball center where uh, the Philippines actually won the gold medal as the Somme hits nothing but air on that shot. I Trying to do John a little too much Luke, or something, yeah. I think John luc Morel was taken out of the game because uh, he had some... A wound. going yeah, on on yeah. his um, forearm. Yeah, we call that an infection control substitution. Penetration move. Stymied that time by the defense. Here's the stretch, and that will drop in for uh, Dafad Oifula. <laughs> What a great pass right there by number seven. Um, with Bowo. With Bowo. 13 to 9. Now 13 to 11. And one of the locals getting involved. That is Jen Yang Chong, who is going to get to the free throw line. So the uh, interior has been open for uh, the defense of Elang Pacific Caesar. And it's now uh, Coach Padrigao is saying, take it strong to the hole. This guy, Jen Yang Chong, really. Um, Exposing how he handles the ball really well. Uh, every time they come down the floor, he's the one that's handling it and attacking the paint. Well, he does complete the three-point play. This is the closest Pegasus Brunei has been to that lead of Elang Pacific. And they could take the lead on this offensive. It's going to be a transition basket from Run Sanyap. And that's going to force the hand 
of Elang Pacific coach Aris Herman to call this timeout. The lead now goes to Pegasus Brunei, 14 to 13 over Elang Pacific as we see some of the highlights from this first quarter so far. So you can see that, yeah. Right here by That's a big boy move. Austin, just <laughs> big body, big boy move right there. Again, Wuti Pong the Som has been yeah, has been has been the lone source of income so far here before the locals started to get involved, uh, Jen. The Som really um uh, familiar is really familiar with the um, international play, uh, as Coach Jade told me about it in the locker room. And um, I think they're really the anchor he's really the anchor of this team in the um, uh -huh. Now you can hear him in the, in the background. He's actually the guy with the deep bar baritone voice trying to get everybody on the same page for uh, Pegasus Brunei. And uh, he has done a good job so far because they have the lead. So 14-13 is our score. Pegasus Brunei has clawed back from being down early against Elang Pacific. Again, this is the opening game of the opening day of the very, very first Phil Basket International Championship. This is Noel Zarate with uh, Jen Reyes and uh, Mika Madrid working the sidelines here. All Filipino force in the broadcast. Of course, we do have a bunch of Malaysians in the broadcast booth as well. We're going to be working with the great Ben Ibrahim uh, later on. Yes, uh, very excited to see that fourth game oh, yeah. against the uh, Filipina Aguilas and Harimau. That's like you're talking about the national team of Malaysia there against one of the, uh, well, the stronger club teams from the Philippines. So that's going to be an interesting uh, mix later on in game number four of our quadruple header. Right here at the Yamaba Stadium, the uh, Malaysian uh, Basketball Association. Morel has checked back in. Looks like the wound has been attended to. But he is like 0 for 1 in this game so far. Yeah, he hasn't really taken a lot of shots right here. And um, the Somme really taking over. But we can see here um, Pegasus starting to apply a full court press yeah, of against course. Um, Elang. And that's a good strategy for Coach Jade Padrigal coming off a timeout to apply pressure immediately. However, they're able to break the press. Oh, backdoor cut inside. That's going to be a foul. I don't know if they're going to give him shooting foul, uh, give him a shooting foul on that. But that was a hard foul given up indeed by Jen, uh, Jen Kang Leong, one of the uh, locals from here in Malaysia and we do have an injured player I hope it's uh, nothing serious right here for you don't want to be injured in o on opening, opening day, day that's yeah. for sure yes, I agree with you Noel yeah that was a hard foul but it was a basketball foul so nothing really malicious about the way the foul of uh, Jen was given up there it's just that right now it looks like he got the, the wind knocked out of him I believe that is Mohamed Ariezki that they're working on right now. And um, I believe uh, we're applying uh, full FIBA rules. That's right, right. Here yeah. All, all, the, this, uh, all the new rules. Tournament, so. Uh, he is favoring that right leg. I mean, Jen, you played college basketball as well. What's it like getting injured like that? Uh, <laughs> that's the worst. I mean, uh, I've had a couple of injuries. I've uh, torn my um, shoulder, and uh, it just really sucks to, you know, be on the sidelines and not be able to help your team. Especially in the first quarter of your opening game. So uh, I know that uh, in the Filipinas Aguilas, we have a player in the Philippines, or one of the Filipinos by the name of Darwish Bideri, who was injured in his second game in the Phil Basket Subic Championship and did not get to play anymore. After that, three-pointer on its way. That is a miss as we resume the action. We Bobo missing from the baseline. And we have Dasom finding Morel inside and a quick spin move, yeah. Finally, Morel getting a basket right here. Space was created just uh, so he could get that turnaround. Again, a 2-3 zone being applied here for Pegasus. Trying to keep Alston out of the paint. It's funny that uh, I've said that um, Elang might be the one pushing the pace, yeah. but we can see right here Pegasus is the one who's really pushing the pace. Well, that's a great interception by Alston, who's also done his uh, share on defense. Fast break now in the offing. For the Indonesians, three-pointer on its way. That is a miss once again. Coming from Dio Putra. He's knocked one down earlier. And Putra will reset now. Eight seconds to shoot, however, for the Indonesians. Shot clock down to five. Still nothing going with their offense. Yeah, they got to put something up. Right here. One second to shoot. They finally get it off. 
And that is a miss coming from uh, Hui Fala. Going the other way now, Pegasus Brunei. Here's the uh, setup now for John, John. Tang. Net for John Tang. So John Tang with his first triple of the game and now the largest lead of the game for Pegasus Brunei. It's as if Elang Pacific can't get out of that 13 point uh, hole they're uh, in right now. Three pointer, still no answer from the Indonesians. This is a very long doubt for yeah. um, Elang Pacific. Almost a steal, and we're going to have another sub coming in. Caleb Nguyen from Vietnam is also going to see his first action of the game. And we did mention this is a very international team we're talking about for Pegasus Brunei. Two Vietnamese in their squad. I've talked to Caleb Nguyen earlier before yeah, the Nguyen, game. Nguyen, his last name is uh, pronounced Nguyen, actually. Yeah, and uh, uh, he's really from Brunei. Oh. But, um, right now, he's uh, s uh, residing in Vietnam. So Nguyen going back to his home uh, territory, but also getting oh. some basketball done. As we have a shot that hits the side of the board from uh, Yi Kang Tio, another local boy here from Malaysia. So we have under three minutes remaining in opening uh, the opening quarter of the opening game of opening day. So many openings here at the <laughs> Field Basket International Championship. Move the ball around. They're still looking for the best shot. That zone defense has not changed for Pegasus Brunei. That's one of the best ways to destroy the zone defense is hit the three-pointer. Claudi Wibowo with a three. Elang Pacific really confident with their outside shots. Getting this one inside. Oh, nice scoop shot coming from Jen Kang Leong. What a great patient move right there for um, number 12, Kang. 21-16 right now, three-pointer. That one is short coming from Hoy Fola. And we have a whistle to halt play. Stay right here, said our officials. The foul is going against Pegasus Brunei. So John Tang picks up his first foul. That's going to be team foul number three for Pegasus Brunei. Elang Pacific already over the limit with 2-13 and 13 remaining in the first. So we're going to have another sub come in. And this is their captain, Mohamed Iqbal Hardianto, who also spent some time with the National Juniors team. Let's see what this guy can do right here and uh, maybe flip the script for Elang Pacific. Loose ball recovery taken from the top of the key by Putra, who's uh, missed that one. Follow-up is in, however, for Avin Paratama with his first two points of the game. 21-18 is our score as we got under two minutes remaining here in the first. Morel providing the screen. Kang now on the screen and roll. Morel lost the ball. Good defense there by Hardianto. Into the front court now is Dio Putra looking for some friends. That zone defense has uh, got back in set now. Yes, and it's really working for Pegasus Brunei. But they're leaving these kinds of shots open. That's going to be a miss from Wibisono from the outside. Bobby Wibisono with his first attempt of the game. Morel showing us some handles. And they want to set it up once again for Tio. Getting another screen. You know, Morel's good at giving these screens. Three-pointer on its way. That is a miss. Battle for the loose ball. How about Morel, the smallest guy? Morel a little shocked right there with that shot. And right. Uh, that's going to be a loose or reach-in foul here going, uh, going against Dio Putra. That's going to be his second. And that's also going to put uh, Pegasus Brunei at the free throw line. So free throws all the way until the end of this quarter for um, Pegasus Brunei. Yeah, check that. That's only the first for Dio Putra. It's going to send uh, Yang Kang Tio to the free throw line. Oh, one of the... Uh, for uh, the uh, shorter players here, he does have an English name. We're going to get it from Graham later on. But it's also great that these Malaysian players get to join an international club and get to learn more about what they can do with basketball. Yes, I agree with you on that one, Noel. So Tio making good on the first, 22-18. 104 remaining here in the first quarter. Tio can't get both to drop. Very unfortunate miss right there. In right. and out. In. That's one of the things you don't want to have happen. That's an unforced turnover against the um, the Indonesians. And Pegasus Brunei is going to sue for time, but they do have a four-point lead, 22 to 18, with a little over 58 seconds remaining in the first.
The Wells out at the still with Jen Reyes and uh, Mika Madrid working the games here from uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Great drive in the kick out right there, but uh, unfortunately just couldn't make that shot. That was a design play that did not go according to plan. Oh, straightaway three is going to be missed there by Weboa and another whistle. We've got players on the floor once again. It's been very, very, very physical inside. First, very first game of the tournament. Right. We had this scene, so a lot of physicality. And Bobby Wibo is going to get to the free throw line. Of, well, actually, he's going to be committing the foul. That's going to put Jean Luc Morel at the free throw line. So tell me more about this guy from Australia. So how, tell me more about this guy from Australia. I know he plays in the NBL. Um, yeah, Morel is able to knock down the second free throw. So 23-18 is our score. There's about a six second difference between the clocks and that's gonna be another basket in. For Claudie Wibowo, his second field goal of the game. 23-20 is our score. Final 10 seconds. Three-pointer on its way. That is a miss. And let's see if they can get a shot off. They still have time. Three seconds to go here for the Indonesians. And they do manage to put it up. That would have counted if it had gone. But it's a miss for Avin Pratama. So at the end of the first 10 minutes of action, it is 23-20 in favor of Pegasus Brunei against Elang Pacific, courtesy of that man, Wutipong Dasom, who's knocked in nine of the 23 so far for his squad. The locals have contributed as well for the Indonesians. But again, let's see if they can get Alston back into form in the second quarter. We will have that for you when we return. wants to use this platform to develop the players for bigger things ahead. Thank you very much, Mika Madrid, with that report. You know, he, and she said it right because 
they joined here to actually learn. We, we're, they're not expecting to get any like like big victories against the big teams, but look at what they're doing right now. They're up by three heading into the second quarter, and you have some numbers to look at. Yes, uh, we can see here um, field goals. Um, Pegasus Brunei with a 44% on the field. And Elang Pacific just shooting 36%. We rejoin the, li the live action here in the second quarter. So Alston is back right now and he is working the post once again. He did manage to score six points in the first quarter. As they go cross court right now, Diopudra puts it up and hits it from downtown. Another three for Elang and um, very good recognition there with the pass. So we have a tied game at 23. Can that be changed? Yes, it can. There is that uh, three-pointer coming in from William uh, Chan. William Chan really known for that outside shot of his. And I think here, Noel, um, Elang Pacific needs to get to the line right now. And they have zero free throws. Wow. Well, Elang Pacific able to get some offense again from Dio Putra. That's going to be an offensive foul called on William Chan. He lowered the shoulder. And they're going to call that. His arm a bit right there. And, uh, so 26 to 25. Pegasus Brunei's lead uh, is one point right now. Just over a minute gone by in this uh, second quarter. Remember, this is the first of four games that we will be sharing with you today. Putra going inside now to Alston, getting all sorts of position inside, but able to get it out. Open three is a miss, however, coming from Ahoy Fala. That's a very good pass right there from uh, Capri Dean Alston. Fortunately, he just couldn't uh, get the basket to go. Here's the drive. Chan can't get it to go. Recovery made now by the Indonesians. They are looking to get the lead once again. They did have the opening lead before that Wutipong Dasom explosion in the first quarter. And Another three for Elang, but unfortunately... Yeah, they have to can those open looks. Oh, Alston comes away with it. That's a two-on-one going the other way, and Alston says, you're not going to block this one. The guy in the glasses. <laughs> That's a Sean Lin Kwan. Now, Sean Lin Kwan almost lost it. One second to get it across now for Pegasus Brunei. Sean Lin, yeah. We see a, a shift of things here, right here. Earlier, Pegasus putting on the pressure, but now Elang is the one pressuring Pegasus. And presence of mind by Lin to get it across. Here is, oh, that is going to be taken away once again. Dio Putra has done a little bit of everything. He's everywhere now for the Indonesians. Putra now with Alston at the top of the key. Alston puts up the three. Why not? Great shot right there by uh, Capri Dean Alston. No one really guarding him, so might as well take the shot. Again, Pegasus with the second unit of Pegasus Brunei. Can they hang with the first unit of the Elang Pacific Caesar group? I think Coach Jade needs to do something about the second group of his. Uh, maybe get the Som back in the game. Well, the Som is resting. The only starters on the floor right now are Morel and Chan. Coming up on seven minutes remaining here in the first. Elang Pacific now up by four. The plus minus of Alston is off the charts. That's a miss. Tip in. It's still not good. I'm really surprised with how um, Elang Pacific uh, moves the ball right here. And they, they're really moving the ball well. And, right. um, and now also playing very, very good defense as Putra gets the steal. And he is oh. going to be blocked from behind. A chase down, but it was off the glass. As we see it here again, Morel with a valiant effort, but it hit the glass first. Almost uh, LeBron James-like chase yeah. down right there, but... Just too late. And Morel is thinking, if he had gone straight for the ring and it bounced on the ring, he could have hit that off the yes, ring. But that's, uh, yeah. But, applying FIBA rules yes, right Yes, that's right. But if it hits the backboard, it's on its way down. Forget about it. So now a six-point lead once again. Dio Putra has put up the numbers here so far. 
Oh, Morell almost lost it. Tries to save it now to Chan. Puts this one up. Good recovery from William Chan to hit the three. Another William Chan specialty right there. Two straight threes for William Chan. It is 32 to 29, sort of like a fire extinguisher shot. Here's also now. Can't get rid of Morell. Shot clock at six. Here is the turnaround for Alston. And Chan comes away with it. So now a little bit of a rebuttal happening here for Pegasus Brunei. But they throw it away again. That'll be steal number three in this quarter alone for Dio Putra. Pegasus Brunei needs to take care of the ball right here in this quarter. He's doing some extra work. Talking about Putra. The drive does not work for K. Battle for the rebound. You got the two imports entangled, and Alston's going to be called for the foul. That's his second. You've mentioned earlier, Noel, that um, a lot of these players can really learn from Capri Dean Alston, and we can. That's very evident on the floor. He's like uh, another coach inside the floor. That's right. Calling all the plays for them, handling the ball, and. Um, all their plays start from him. Right. Well, right now, Wutipong Dasom is back on the floor for Pegasus Brunei. So they do need a little bit of an assistance from their tie reinforcement. So, and you did mention, right, that Elang Pacific is a, is a sports management group, as Morel misses from the outside, that handles a lot of players. One of them is Tyler Lam, actually. Actually, that's... Um Pegasus Brunei Noel. Oh, no, sorry, yeah, I correct myself. You you're right, you're right, right. And um, Pegasus Brunei. Yeah, also one of their um, players is uh, Diamond Stone, who played for San Miguel Beer. Oh, that's right. In the meantime, free throws have been given or are going to be given here for Alston, able to manufacture that on his drive. But Tyler Lamb, of course, one of the iconic players uh, in this uh, side of the uh, in this side of the world. Uh, I played for the Thai national team as well. And He's really one of the players that uh, I look up uh, to pattern my game to. Wow! Yeah, I don't yeah, think I can copy him. Uh, well. You're gonna, you're probably gonna have an ACL injury if you try to do that. <laughs> and, now, and now we have Alston getting to the free throw line. His nickname is Pre, Pre Alston, at the free throw line. Sort of reminds me of uh, I, I forget the nickname, but the uh, brother of Mark Jackson, the big guy. You know, who, who handled the ball. He passed away already, but. Sort of reminds me of the way he plays. A huge, wide-bodied uh, basketball player who's got a soft touch from the outside, too. For me, he reminds me of Zach Randolph. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's a lefty, yeah. but really agile. Maybe, maybe Zion Williamson, too, right? <laughs> but not that big, though. So a good answer on the other end for Pegasus Brunei. The lead is three for the Indonesians. 34 to 31 right now. They get really, it to K, yeah. A really tight ball game right here. And, uh, it was usually, yeah. The, the more veteran team will find a way to win later on. But it's nice to see that both teams are uh, really making this a close one right now. Another turnover, though, against Pegasus Brunei. Here's Dio Putra applying the brakes this time. They're going to wait for Austin to set up. But they had a back door, but they didn't see it for K. Putra now. He's got two three-pointers already uh, across his name. Shot clock down to six. They can't work the pick and roll. Three Here's Arguianto. Oh, Arguianto gets it off the glass. <laughs> Lucky break right there. And another three for Elang. Boy, they are really racking it up in terms of their three-point mix. Wutipong Dasom is going to get that inside. I think they have to keep the song inside this whole game. Yeah. <laughs> on. Take him out. How about this energizer coming in? Rune San Yap able to get the steal and a lead to a oh. miss layup, however. It's a very sorry miss for Pegasus Brunei. Yep, that was Jen Kang Leong on the miss. Great defense, however, coming from Morel. Under four minutes to go here in the second. All of a sudden, the intensity has picked up. The speed has picked up. What a great block there for Luke Morel meeting him on top of the rim. The song for three. And the rebound picked up by Alston. So three and a half to play here in the uh, second quarter. 37-33, Elang Pacific in the driver's seat. Horns play right now being called by Putra. Getting it out now to uh, Hoi Fula. 
Shot clock down to four. They got to put it up once again. Under Off the, the glass. No, no. no. Here is Alston, though, and is able to force it up. Oh, you know, Jen had a hand on the ball, but Alston's just got a lot of upper body strength. Morel gets some space. Get a... Oh. <laughs> Jean-Luc Morel able to get it back now. And we're going to have a timeout called by Elang Pacific Caesar. They still have the lead, but it is down to four. 39, 35, exactly three minutes remaining here in the second. who's actually a, a volleyball player in the Philippines. So we are an all-star cast. Actually, your name, your name is similar to a volleyball player from the Philippines as well, Jen Reyes, one of the best liberos we've ever had. Yes, I agree with you. <laughs> so 39-35 right now, coming off a timeout. A floater will not work for Hardianto. Tries it again. Alston turned back by Morel. And they still have it, though. Morel really protecting the rim here right. for Pegasus oh. Brunei. Great extra pass. K missing from the outside and Hardianto will touch it last. You like the effort now being shown by both teams. I mean, it's different when you're in an international competition. You're being shown on TV. You got to step up. Yes, I agree with you, Noel. And, um, but uh, let's give this uh, these players a... Uh, chance to really showcase yeah, what they yeah, have exactly you know? they've been doing a good job so far at least here in the second quarter the som going against the grain now going for the step back no how about the uh, offensive rebound coming here from jen what a pass oh. right there for Luke great recognition to just lob it over um the capri dean also right yeah jean morel with eyes at the back of his head and he has cut down this lead now to two with less than two minutes to go here in the second. K having problems with receiving that pass. Shot clock down to five. It's down to three. Do they know it? It's Another down to one. Team. Oh, they're able to get it off. K with the presence of mind to release it on time. But we're going to have a fast break. Nobody guarding Sam as Run Samiyap is able to score. Very good outlet pass right there. Not keeping his head down. And, uh, you know looking up the floor and we're gonna have Jonathan K or make that uh, Evan Pratama in the game once again replacing Hardianto and we are tied at 39 with a minute and a half remaining here in, in the uh, second quarter and it has been pretty entertaining for these two teams that are say that probably saying that we're expansion teams or we're here to learn from each other that's not quite the case right now. Yes, but a lot of turnovers yeah, right here yeah, in the second right. quarter. But that also says that uh, uh, the defense of both teams are really picking up. Well, right now, Sam Run is going to be fouled. Neither team in the uh, penalty right now. That's only going to be the second team foul for Elang Pacific. Luke Morel is uh, really... Uh, yeah. Setting great screens right uh, here to open up everything for um, the guards of Pegasus Brunei. Three-pointer is good once again. And that is coming from Jin Kang Leong. Great out-of-bounds play right there for Pegasus Brunei. Yeah, from a six yeah, from a six-point deficit, Jen. They have reclaimed the lead. Pegasus Brunei now up 42 to 39. Less than a minute to go here. 
In the first running shot is good. And we the ball. Pass yeah. right here. <laughs> great layup for yeah. number three. That is a no dribble fast break, my yeah. friend. So 44 to 41 is our score. Scoring is suddenly picked up towards the end here of the second quarter. I mean, you go in the 40s in a 10 minute game. That's pretty good. Another turnover. And can he handle it? No, drops it off to Dasom. Good decision by Jen to get it to Wutipong. Dasom has got 15 in the game. Pegasus Brunei really doing a good job telegraphing all the passes from uh, Elang Pacific right here. And yeah. there's another one. That's a good read right there, on Jen. Q. Another outlet pass into the front court. Transition three. And the tip in. Morel just too big for these two guys. Morel. Still can't get it to go, still can't oh, get no. it to go. That's four attempts by Pegasus, and time will expire in the first 20 minutes of action of a very entertaining opening game here at the uh, Phil Basket International, the Sports Click Phil Basket International Championship. We have Pacific, oh, make that Pegasus Brunei 46, Elang Pacific Caesar 41. Uh, we have a halftime break, and we will be uh, with you again shortly. Stay with us. Just continue to play team basketball, continue to stay aggressive and look to score or look to pass the ball to the open man. And um, mainly just keep moving, keep running, uh, make it hard for the defense to kind of uh, guard me. And uh, that's it. And adjust as we go along. For sure, the other team will be making adjustments since they're, they're on the losing end. So what do you think are the adjustments that the other team will make and how do you plan to counter this? I have a feeling they might step up their defense on me just a little bit. Well, we'll see how that goes, uh, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, my teammates are playing great. We're playing really good as a team. I love the way we're playing right now. Moving the ball is beautiful. So uh, as far as adjustments they'll make, we'll adjust along with their adjustments. That's all I can say. Good luck to the whole team, and now I'm returning back to the panel.
All right, back with us here at the uh, Maba Stadium. We have some numbers to share with you from the halftime. As you can see, it is a 46 to 41 lead for Pegasus Brunei. Um, you can see the numbers right here. Um, field goal wise, um, Pegasus Brunei really shooting it uh, well from the field. And um, I think Elang needs to get to the line more. And besides uh, a lot of turnovers here in uh, the first first half, right? But we we have a high scoring game, right? Yeah, here. you want to know why it's a high scoring game? Forty eight percent from the field for Pegasus Brunei. They've had a lot of layups. They're only five of fifteen from beyond the arc. Look at the five of 19, 36 percent free throw shooting. If you're not on point with your three point shooting, it's going to really affect you. The turnovers haven't affected Pegasus Brunei because they've been forcing turnovers of their own and getting layups on the other end. Look at the eleven assists that they already have as a team. The rebound numbers are negligible at the point. The one of the things, Jen, that that uh, um, uh, Pegasus Brunei has to, or make that Elang Pacific Caesar has to do, is find a way to get the ball to Alston and get more high percentage looks. Exactly, yeah. and um, I think really, um, Capri Dean Alston is really the leader right here for the Elang team, and um, they just have to really dump the ball right. to him. Down All right, there. we're, we're going to send it to Mika Madrid right now, who is with the aforementioned Capri Dean Alston. We're now here in the third quarter with Capri Alston. Capri, despite scoring 15 points and four rebounds, your performance in the first two quarters fell short. So how do you think you can improve on um, coming into the third quarter of this game? Um, we have to pick up our defense. Um, we let them get, we made some bad passes where they got some steals, got a lot of layups. Um, so if we capitalize on that, I feel like we can make a run and, Okay, how do you motivate each other and how are you planning to end this game? We plan to end the game with the win, of course, but uh, motivating each other by like whether you make or miss a shot or make a mistake or anything to say it's okay, we got your back, you know, keep going, we're going to keep doing, we're gonna keep shooting and whatever, we, we got your back, we, it's good with us. Thank you and good luck. Now back to you, Noel and Jen. Uh, Capri, uh, Alston right there, so from from what Alston did in the first half was really just pound the ball inside. He did have a three-pointer across his name as well, but if he could pound the ball inside and get more of the high percentage looks, the free throws that you're talking about could follow. Yes, I agree with you, Noel, and um, you can see here on the stat sheet, um, Capri Dean Alston is 60% from the field right. for, with 15 points. But and, and yet as a team, they're 36% from the yes, field. But his plus minus is um, he, he's minus eight. Right, so right. On the other end, um, William the Somme with 14. Yeah, Wutipong the Somme, rather. Wutipong yeah. the Somme, yeah. sorry. Uh, he's got 15 in the game, right? He's got 15 in the game and four, plus minus is 14. But there's a guy he, right here that's really surprising um Zen Kang Leong is yeah. plus 15 for 7 points but he's yeah, he was actually part of that big run when they were down 6 and they moved up 3 that uh, allows him to have a plus minus that is off a, off the charts. But again, those are first half numbers. We are now heading in to the second half. You did hear Gremnel S. Bear just say third quarter. This is where we're at right now at the Maba Stadium here in Malaysia. Noel Zarate with Jen Reyes, Mika Madrid. And we all hope that you're having a great time watching the opening game of the Sports Click Field Basket International Championship as we now switch sides. And the three-pointer coming up from the Dio Putra comes up empty. And here's Chan. Great block out there by Pegasus Brunei to get that rebound. And Morel with a short jumper. Yeah, Morel's been struggling on offense, but he's been uh, doing his job on the rebounding end as well as on the defensive end. Nine rebounds yeah. in this game already with two assists. And how about another stoppage right there? Dasom breaks free. And he's going to take this all the way for the layup plus the foul. What a great composure. Co what a ga great composed move there by Will the Som and um, to get that end one. That's the second foul. First team foul for Elan Pacific. Substitution for Elan Pacific. Bonus shot for Wootipong the Som.
but saw him making that free throw so extends this is, the yeah. lead to eight. This is the largest lead of the game right now for Pegasus Brunei. You know what's funny, Noel? Uh, before the game, Coach Jade Padrigao really worried that they're re they're gonna get blow out in this game. <laughs> but I don't. I told him I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, you know what? We see a layup here dropped in by uh, Pratama. But uh, it, they actually looked like they were gonna get blown out. 7-0 was the starting score in this one. But will the Som? Yeah, will really really the Som? Yeah. Team out. The Som could not get the rebound that time. Another fast break opportunity, almost taken away once again by the defense. That's uh, the first yeah. miss for Will Chan. And from that the three. is a three coming from Dio Putra. Forty-nine, forty-six. The three-pointer, the great equalizer in basketball. So is the steal. Just a lazy pass right there for William Tran. Putra still in the backcourt. Finally gets it across now to Jonathan K. Almost Look, traveled right yeah. there, Noel. They're looking for the best available shot. That is not the best available shot from Pratama. Pass break right now. The Somme looked like a wide receiver. Getting the ball now in the post, but lost it again. Quick hands by the white shirts, forcing another turnover. And into the front court, Pratama finding Alston for the layup. Good dunk right there for um, Apri Dean Alston. Easy two for him. 15 in the game, make that 17 in the game now for Capri Dean Alston. 49 48, the lead is down to one. Almost another steal for the Indonesians. And they have really picked it up in terms of their defense as we see it here again. The Psalm says he gave the thumbs up for a good effort, but that was a dangerous pass. Yes, I agree with you. And um, Elang playing man to man defense right here. 11 seconds to shoot now for Pegasus Brunei, and they get the shot off. Again, that is the third three pointer in the game for William Chan. William Chan really just a bucket from the three point area. So again, the lead has been blown up to four points, 52 to 48. Alston can't go anywhere. Pratama will try his luck at a three. That is off. He has missed his last three attempts in this quarter. Dioputra puts up a three. That is good. Great hustle right there by number seven. And um, the Somme just didn't get back in on defense and resulted to another three. Dio Putra is now the team's leading scorer with 17 in the game and yet another three-pointer for the Indonesian. Lead is down to 152 to 51, but Putra is going to be called for the foul, trying to take the ball away as we see it here again. So again, Putra and his efforts has cut the lead here down to one. Yes, I agree with you, Noel. And, um, uh they just have to keep playing hard defense and um, I think their shots are going to fall for them. Just give the ball to Apri Dean Alston and um, Dio Putra. And I think they're going to do great in this uh, third quarter. Well, that has been the one-two punch and almost another steal. I mean, the passes that you did say it earlier, lazy pass. That was another one. Uh, we both almost took that one away. Ten seconds to shoot now for Pegasus Brunei. Pegasus needs to come up with something great right here. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Yeah, big to big action there. That shot will not count for Mutipong Dasom. Foul a, on the ground. Oh, and Alston, that's his third. That's really big for um, uh, Elang team because they're really backing on Apri Dean Alston. It's pretty Yo, much of yeah. a bailout foul right there with five seconds on the clock. You know? But it was a foul and our referees will not hesitate to call that one. Shot clock has been reset to 14 seconds. 52, 51, Pegasus Brunei, 6 and 39 to play here. And the third, once again, this is our first game of our quadruple header on opening day of the Sports Click Field Basket International Championship. The runner is going to work for Joe. Elang playing a zone right now on this third quarter and trying to double the sum every time he gets the ball. And that uh, opens up other players for Elang. Well, now it is Pegasus I mean, Brunei Pegasus. playing zone. And moving the ball around, looking for the best available shot. Once again, bank oh, shot is good. A lucky three right there. Does the James Harden impression. <laughs> Mohamed Gosali able to tie the game, as you said, Jen. 
at 54. Dasom working the pose, and he will be called for steps. Another double team right there, as well, Dasom. Yeah, it's Wutipong the Dasom, actually. Wutipong the Dasom, yeah. sorry. Wutipong the Dasom is teammates with Will Chan. So, <laughs> so it is now tied at 54. Here's Pratama looking for a friend. They get it to the left quarter court. And uh, Wibowo has to bail out. Gets it now to Gozali. Hit a three earlier. Alston baseline. No. Battle for the rebound. Picked up by Morel. He is not a guard. And he's still trying to get it over now to Chan. Morel oh, the sum is open. The ball right there. Is three really pointer. Is possible. That's right. The three pointer does not work, however, for Butipong the sum. Morel looks a bit tired right here, and also the sum. Yeah, well, Morel's been jogging up and down the court as well, doing a little bit of everything on both ends. Here's Pratama. Gets into trouble once again. That ball is thrown away. Into the front court now. Will Chan thinking about a three. Takes it in closer and Will Chan scores again. Great leaner right there for Will Chan. And um, just recognizing that he has a smaller defender over him. Uh, he's got 11 in the game. Believe it or not, that's his first two-point field goal. He had three three-pointers before that. Under five minutes to play here in the third. Pegasus Brunei with the lead. Only two points. Battle for the rebound. Pratama gets it once again. Against the double team, he scores. Pratama just really relentless on on the boards and the uh, resulting this, two. This kid's, two. Still, this kid's still growing. He's only 19 years old. That's very good for oh. the Indonesian squad. Another three for William Tran. Well, so four threes right now for him. 14 in the game. You got to put a body on him. You got to keep an eye on him. That's what he's known for. 59, 56, K inside. Nowhere to go. Tries Almost to get it out. Almost a three-second violation That's right there. Right. Three-pointer on its way. That is a miss coming from Gozali. And the rebound picked up by Morel. Into the front court now as we I approach the four-minute I think he's going to pull up court. right here, Noel. Oh. <laughs> well, he's not Steph Curry. That's a heat check for Will Chan. Yeah. That's one of the hardest shots to put up. A transition three. That ball was already in the front court, so they uh, officially beat the eight-second clock. As we now have another sub coming in. As a Jen Kang Leong will rejoin the action, replacing Will Chan. And coming back in as well is John Tang. So we've got a bunch of, a couple of Malaysians now coming in. So on the floor, we've got three Malaysians. And it looks like the Somme is also suffering from the cramps a bit now. So he's going to take a breather. And a Caleb Nguyen from Vietnam is going to check in. Maybe they're having a really hard time with the weather here. Yeah. Well, it has been a little humid, but there has been a bit of rain here now and then. Uh, getting under the defense for that shot will not work for Wibowo. Into the front court. How about that? You just checked in and you're on the fast break, but great defense by Pratama. In transition now. Here come the oh. Indonesians, and that is going to count if it goes. It does not. So two free throws coming up now for Claudie Wibowo. Again, you got to applaud the effort for the white shirts. These are a bunch of kids. I mean, I kid you not, 19-year-olds, 20-year-olds on this team holding their own against an international squad like Pegasus Brunei. As you can see that time, Pegasus Brunei had a wide open layup. Yeah. But defense resulting into offense right here. One well, of the free throws drops here now for uh, Claudie Wibowo. So it is now down to just a two-point lead. We both still one more free throw to come with 3 and 34 remaining in the third. Knocks down both. Morel is still on the floor. And he is going to do some guard chores right now. And fresh legs right here for uh, Pegasus Brunei. Caleb Nguyen in yeah. the game. Caleb Nguyen. And seeing his first action since the second quarter, that's going to be a foul on the hand check on the ground coming from Jonathan K. Caleb Nguyen. Win. His name is pronounced Win. 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 N G W I N. Win. So Caleb Win, one of the two Vietnamese, on the floor. Here's a, the drive coming in from John Tang. That is a miss. Great rebound right there for Apri Dean Austin. Oh, but Another a great steal. Pass. 
This time the telegraph comes from the side of the Indonesians as Jen Kang Leong is every uh is gonna get that one. That is Jen's second field goal of this third quarter. 61 to 58 is our score. Pegasus Brunei uh, at the driver's seat, but only by three. Three-pointer to tie the game. That is a miss. K with a rebound. K deflected. And into the front court now. Pegasus Brunei has it broken up. But they will keep possession. Luckily, they got the deflection right there. Or else it was an easy two for um, Pegasus Brunei. And you go back to the numbers of that first half where Pegasus Brunei actually shot 48% from the field courtesy of a lot of layups. And that's a bad pass on the inbound coming from John Tang. Easy takeaway for the Indonesians. Time down to two and a half to play here in the third. It is 61 for Pegasus Brunei, 58 for Elang Pacific. Alston finally gets a touch inside. They Big had to sit him down. Right there for yeah. Appy Dean Alston. They had to sit him down because of the three fouls, but they need his offense. So he's able to score immediately. 17 in the game officially now for Capri Dean Alston. Three-pointer on his way. That is short. Coming from uh, Jen Kang Leong. If you're, the, if you're the coach of Pegasus Brunei, you might want to dump the ball down to uh, Morel or or the sum just to get uh, Alston in foul trouble. I'm not quite sure if Morel actually plays in the post. He does have a few hook shots now and then, but it looks like he's more familiar taking those kinds of shots. Remember, he did play in the NBL and about six foot six. He's probably not center material uh, in, in the uh, Australian uh, circuit. On the step in, that is a miss coming from the uh, outlet Sol. pass right here. And an easy two for Pegasus Brunei, extending their lead to three. Yeah, that is actually not Jonathan K. That is Jen Kang Leong who made that layup for uh, Pegasus Brunei. 63 to 60 is our score as we approach the final minute of the third. And there is Jonathan K making the two points for the Indonesians. And a timeout has been called by Pegasus Brunei. Great. So it is 63 to 62 right now, Jen, as we step into this break. We'll be right back. Basket International Championship, the Elang Pacific Caesars might have felt short in the first half, but they're not letting this defeat break the team's morale. A while ago, coach Iris Hernan told me that they're very excited about this tournament as this is the team's first time here in Malaysia. He said, we're a fairly young team and all of the players are showing potential. With a tight gap between the Caesars and Pegasus Brunei, will the Elang Pacific boys be able to up their game to close a win? Let's find out as we return with more ba basketball action. And we have returned right now, Mika Madrid. Thank you very much for that report. Uh, 63 to 62. And, uh, alumna, and, and we know that what she said about this young team, it's actually their first time here in Malaysia. They are performing well. In fact, they've now gotten the lead. Yes, with the three right there, and um, they're really relying on their outside shooting right here. 65-63, you are right about the outside shooting for the Indonesian. It has worked for them so far. The Somme comes up empty on the drive. Final seconds of this third quarter. They get it inside now to Kay. Jumper Jonathan Kay will not get it to go. Alston can't get the tip in. And the final shot will not happen for Pegasus Brunei. 
65, Elang Pacific, 63, Pegasus Brunei. We will have the final quarter when we return. Back with us here at the Maba Stadium. We are about to get underway in this very, very close matchup for the opening game of the opening day of the Sports Click Phil Basket International Championship. Yes, folks, Phil Basket is now in Malaysia. We got to give props to the founder, uh, Mr. Jai Reyes, for the vision that he has put to bring basketball to this region. And there has been a big response, a big positive response of what Phil Basket is doing here. And I'm, I have a big feeling, Jen, that this is not the last sortie that Phil Basket will have here in this yes, part of the world. Very excited for the upcoming tournaments of uh, Phil Basket. And uh, let's see where we end up next. Right. I've been hearing a lot of countries, so <laughs> let's hope and pray that those happen. The Somme cannot open the fourth with a basket. They are still down by two. The Somme to, yeah, to 63, yeah. The Somme looks like he got some second wind right here. I thought you, you say he looks like he fixed his hair in between <laughs> the third and fourth quarters. Alston scores inside. Dean Alston already with 19 big points right now and shooting 54% um, from the field. He's only had one three-pointer across his name, and he gets another rebound here. So he's have he's got a double double right now. Wow, with 17 points and 11 boards. So and he is helping his squad to take this four-point lead right now, as we enter the nine-minute mark here of the fourth quarter. Alston isolated against Morel and gets it inside to K, working against the triple team. Almost got it to go. 67-63, Elang Pacific Caesar, Indonesia. They have the lead against Pegasus Brunei. Another turnover. Into the front court now. The drive is good for Federico Darmawan. If you're a coach, that's what your player want to do, want you to do. And um, uh, just go hard to the rim and uh, maybe get the foul. That's right. He didn't get the foul, but he got the basket and got the six-point lead for his squad. Three-pointer on its way. That is too the long and no record. chance for a rebound to win. So John, oh, make that Will Tran, or Will Chan is coming back in. Looks like it's going to be two Vietnamese on the floor along with a Canadian, or make that an Australian, and a Thai player. So an international flavor on the floor. The, the point guard, however, is uh, going to be Jen Yang Chong, who is a Malaysian. That's still international. <laughs> yeah, Pegasus applying a bit of a full court press again here. They look like they really want to go to K in the post. However, there is a drive and a pull up. Right there. Yeah, we couldn't capitalize on that one. We bow with a sorry miss that time. Under eight minutes to play here in the four. Oh, oh Chan has been ambushed at the rim. Dean Austin just really bodying him up right there. 
And uh, Alston hold, held his breath a bit there because he was in the scene. But they're going to give it to Darmawan who picks up his first foul. And free throws for the first time for Will Tran or Will Chan. Great strong drive right there for Will Tran. I'm sure he's used to being called Tran already when he was in, in Canada. But the correct pronunciation, as we learned from our friends from Vietnam, is actually Chan. And the correct pronunciation of Nguyen is Nguyen, as we learned from our friends from Vietnam. So a little bit of an educational pronunciation guide as well. Noted that <laughs> From our friends here. You know, we do have a lot of friends from across the region who are here to experience the basketball that Phil Basket Sports Click uh, have uh, brought to us here. And another turnover. And here is the local boy, the Malaysian, Jen Yang Chong, able to get the Great layup. Tap right there from behind uh, as he passes the screen and uh, leads to a wide open layup. And that's keeping them in the game right now. 69-66, Elang Pacific Caesar holding on to this three-point lead. Oh, do they count it? Do they count it? They may have to review that. They did call the foul and there was, as we see here on the replay, Another I'm not quite sure. Drive yeah. right here for uh, it, lo yeah, it looked like it was on its way up, so I guess they're going to have to look at the IRS for this one. But if it was on its way up, oh, they count the basket, so they say it's on its way down. So this is now officially a three-point play. Uh, how about the impact of this kid, uh, Federico Darmawan, who's uh, seeing his first action on the game of the game in the fourth quarter with two quick baskets already and a three-point play coming up. The coming up big for Elang Pacific. And he is spotless. Yeah, he's spotless. Two for two from the field, one for one from the line. I thought they, they were Elang was gonna use their challenge right here. Yeah. So just for our viewers. Just Short. like the NBA, you can challenge some place here. Yeah. Uh, and the IRS, actually, they just have to check if it was good or not. The referees deemed that, no, we don't. We got the call right. So 72-66 is our score on the penetration. Now, Jonathan K steps back, and he is rejected by Morel. So now we can see Morel really much of a... More of a defensive player than a, an offensive right. player. Right, and he looks to be a perimeter player as well at six foot six, six foot seven. Yeah, of course, if you're in the NBL, yeah. a lot of big guys there. Oh, you bet. Let's see what he can do against Apri D. Oh, no, nothing. You can't do anything. It's just too yeah. wide. Capri too Dean big, Alston. too strong. Yeah, if he gets positioned inside, forget about it. You got to foul him. And Elang Pacific now up by eight. This match is their largest in the game. Dasom splits the defense, puts it up, and scores. He's got a total of 20 in the game. It's really interesting. Uh, uh, once Dharma won, entered the ball game, they extended the lead to eight. That's why his uh, plus minus is, believe it or not, eight as well. Alston. Battle for the rebound. Picked up here by Jang. Jen now on the lob pass Whoa. to Morel. What a great lob pass right there for Luke Morel. Great communication by Pegasus Brunei. Cuts the lead down to four. And the momentum could start to fall on their side as we have less than six minutes remaining in the opening game of the Sports Click Phil Basket International Championship. Alston, you can't stop him. The stupid. Too wide. He's got 23 in the game. So it is now a 76 to 70 lead for Elang Pacific. The song has been quiet. Tries to get position inside. Instead gets it out to Sam Run, who can't get it to go. The song with the hops. Great rebound there for the song. They really needed that um, second chance yeah. opportunity. Wutipong Dasom is already in his mid-30s and he is still showing that he's got the hops. This kid Dharma won. He can really handle the ball well for um, Elang Pacific. However, a traveling violation is going to be called here against Bobby Wibisono. Yeah, you like those little burly guards that can do a lot in terms of, uh, in terms of the offense, in terms of the defense, just because they're the burly guards. Yes, and you can see he's not getting pressured at all. Even though, you know, they're uh, putting a full court press on him. Oh, Will Oh, Chan. Sam gets away! 
Roshan getting poked in the eye, but somehow gets the pass through. Yeah. Run Sami up, able to cut the lead down to two. It was once eight points just a few moments ago. Timeout called by Elang Pacific Caesar. As the action continues now, four minutes and 53 seconds remaining and the opening game of opening day of the Sports Click Field Basket International Championship coming to you live from the Maba Stadium in Kuala Lumpur. Noel Zarate with Jen Reyes, with Nika Madrid and with all of you watching around the world. Again, this is the first of our four games on opening day here, Jen. Yes, and I'm really surprised that Elang Pacific is still up by two right here. Yes, um, they're shooting just 37% from the field and Pegasus shooting 48%. That's right. And of course, the uh, numbers still consistent with what, is, uh, with what has happened in the first half. That will, they will call an eight-second violation. The ball officially did not cross. Great pressure right there for Pegasus Brunei. And, uh, and now they have a chance to get the lead with a three or tie the game with a deuce. Maybe that's uh, an influence from um, Coach Jade Padigal yeah. playing really tight defense. From oh, the well, that looked like his nephew Fortsky on the drive there, coming from Run Sami up as he has tied the game at 76. A little too much pressure applied that time by Jen Yang Chong. Number six. Just gets called for the hand check right yeah. there. That is foul number three on him, so he'd better watch it. Alston, he has. I think it's Dean Alston time right there. Right. Yeah, he has stayed fourth away. Quarter. He has stayed away from his fourth foul. And he has been providing some pretty good offense. Not that time, though. Good defense played by Morel. Head to the front court. They have the numbers. Morel almost lost it. Sam Rooney up, three-pointer good! Big three right here for Pegasus Brunei, getting the lead back. So yeah. after being down by eight points just a few moments ago, they are now up by three. Dasom now, after the turnover, has to locate the ball. Wutipong Dasom can't get it to go. The tip-in still not there for Jang. And that will be out of bounds to the Black Shirts. Seems like a momentum shift right here, Noel, for Pegasus Brunei. Momentum shift indeed, and you can sense that when they were down eight, they tried it with their defense and they have succeeded uh, with uh, forcing a lot of turnovers. I thought that was it for them. Yeah, they Elang were down eight, right? Yeah. yeah. But again, you have a lot of veterans on this Pegasus Brunei squad. They're not just going to go down without a fight. Here's Sam, Sam Runyap. He has really given a good account of himself. Jumper from the side doesn't work, and the follow up still not there. Morel's offense has a been struggling. A lot of second chance opportunities here for both teams, but just couldn't fall. Again, Morel had one stretch earlier where he had four shots at the rim and couldn't make any. Good pass back, three pointer. That is good again. And that three pointer is coming from Dafad. Point Fula. Right back at them. Speaking of three-pointers, Will Chan is about to check in now for Pegasus Brunei. Coming up on three minutes to go in the fourth. This is winning time, Noel. Oh, great cut great. by the sun. He is going to elevate over the defense. Two-handed jam is good. Great give and go right there for the, the two, uh, two guys, two star players of Pegasus Brunei. 
And the people in Thailand are jumping up and down after that two-handed slam. A two-point lead oh, now, and that he's that not yet done. The sum. The sum in the front court. With the Euro. And the sum now with a game-high 26, and we have an injured player on the side of Pegasus Brunei. It looked like it, it looks like it might be the case of the cramps. And, and the coach Jade Padrigao, it appears he has called a timeout. So it is now a four point lead for Pegasus Brunei. Just a few moments ago, it was an eight point lead for LA Pacific. We'll be right back. Two and a half remaining in this very, very closely contested matchup between two teams who are happy to just be here, but now one of them has to win. Capri Alston will get back to the free throw line. Foul called on Jean-Luc Morel. Great decision right there by Apri Dean Alston to pound the ball inside and get to the line. Cut this lead down while the clock yes. is not it's running. And two personal fouls now for Will Chan. Two shots to three, Austin. So it has really been a duel between Dasom and Alston as he gets back to the free throw line. Now, nice soft touch, really. I mean, he's he's a prized possession, he's a prized import. I mean, any any team in, in the Asian region would be glad to have an import like this. I agree, and um, if I'm not mistaken, Noel, he tried to enter the NBA draft before, wow. but just didn't get... Uh, he's a little undersized. Yeah, he yeah. is a little undersized, about 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 at that center position. But here in Asia, well, he can make a big living playing that position here for sure. Yes, and again and again, this is a really good thing for Indonesian basketball. Yeah. Learning from Apri Dean Austin. And of course, they do have their naturalized player in the national team. Talking about Lester Prosper, who has actually done very well. And a three-pointer. That is the fifth three-pointer of the game for Will Chan. That one's really big. Will Chan just really a bucket from the outside. Final Barely two missing. minutes. Yeah, final two minutes now in this game. We have not seen from Dio, we have not heard from Dio Putra so far here in the fourth. They move it around. Five on the shot clock now for the Indonesians. And almost a takeaway. It is a takeaway for Dasom. Here's Jen into the front court now. For Will Chan, they are gonna wait. They have a five point lead. If you're Pegasus right here, you wanna use up the clock. And uh... Morel inside, oh! denied by Alston. Here is Dio Putra into the front court. Finding Wibowo almost lost possession. Putra puts it up against the defense. That is short. Happy Dean Austin not even going down for offense anymore. Well, he didn't have to because that was a good look by Dio Putra. It just didn't go in. Less than a minute remaining. A two-possession lead for Pegasus Brunei. Dio Putra is shut down in this uh, second part of the game. Sam for three. No. Battle for the rebound. Austin tries to stay with it. And he does. But they need some quick baskets here. They have numbers right here, Noel. They're going to go for the transition three. Putra. Oh, he's going to wait for Alston. They're wasting time now. Putra. Alston on the drive. Side steps on the way. Good defense by Morel. And Wuti Pongdasom has nobody near him. Oh, it's the dunk. <laughs> that should have been a dagger, but. Uh... Pa Pratawa, three pointer. Or oh, Pratama rather, with a miss. Nine seconds, Dasom. I don't think they know that they already have the game in their hands. But with six seconds remaining, this is gonna do it. A victory for Pegasus Brunei. They were down eight in the fourth quarter and they come back to win by 788 to 81. Come back, Noel. 
Just great effort from their two imports. It was a combination of many things here. Will Chan's outside shooting and the great second half performance for the youngster, Sam Yap, who took over the point guard chores and he was able to come away with 13 points. But of course, our player of the game has got to be Wutipong Dasom. And he has shown at the age of 35 that he's still got the hops. He's still got the leadership and he can still ball with the best of them here in Asia. Yes, Noel and um, Coach Jade was telling me uh, they call him Ruben Dasom. Yeah. And uh, he's had a lot of n international experience. So of course. I was really surprised when Coach Jay told me that uh, their star player is Ruben Dasom. Yeah. So we and were expecting Luke Morel to oh, really well, anchor the team. The Dasom, being a member of the Thai national team, been there, done that, and he is now with Mika Madrid. Here with me, Ruben Dasom, who is our player of the game now. It was definitely a tight match between the two teams, so I want to congratulate you for that win. Now, what do you think were your team's greatest strengths, and how did you use this to your advantage? Oh, the greatest strength, I got to give it to our guards. Two or three of our guards play tremendous. Defensive, steals, assists, passing, getting themselves open, available. I mean, I got to give it to our guards this game. They were amazing. Without them, this game would have been completely different, so props to them, yeah. Now, what does this win mean to you, especially that you're competing with other strong teams in the coming days? Uh, this is a great game for us as a team because we only had a couple of practice sessions, but we played together tremendously. We swung the ball to the open man and we cut in passing lanes. We played good basketball on all, so this is something, uh, a really good start to work on no matter who we play. This is our, um, this is our if this is our basis of our standard, this is a great start. Now, is there someone that you want to say hi to or greet? Now is your chance. Yeah, Thailand. What's up, Thailand? Woody Pong So I'm checking in. If y'all are watching this, thank you so much for supporting and continue to support us at Pegasus Brunei. So thank you very much. Thank you very much to Malaysia and this league for hosting us and having this league available. Thank you so much. Congratulations again to the winning team. Now back to the panel. Madrid, the 28.6 rebound performance for Wuti Pong Dasom as Pegasus Brunei is the first ever winner of a basketball game in the Sports Click Phil Basket International Championship. Jen, you have anything else to add? I just want to add the uh, three big steals by uh, Ruben Dasom. Yeah, yeah. That's really uh, crucial for them. And we can see here uh, the full game stats. And um, Pegasus Brunei just really shooting the ball well. And um, turnovers-wise, they didn't uh, do well, but uh, the veterans... They made up for it in the assist department, though. Exactly, exactly. And the veterans really helping them out uh, during the end game. Yep, seven assists more is almost guaranteeing that you're going to get a win. And look at this. It's a seven-point win. They had seven more assists. Makes sense. Makes Congratulations sense. to Makes Pegasus sense. Brunei winning the opening game of, uh, against Elang Pacific here and the Sports Click Phil Basket International Championship. But we're still not done. We still have three more games to share with you. And up next, ladies and gentlemen, will be Bumi Borneo taking on a BGC, a team coming out of the Philippines. This should be an interesting one. And we will be back right here at the Maba Stadium for game two of our quadruple header. Stay with us.